Hello! And welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Florianne. I am 25 years old. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about what you can expect on this channel going forward. So this is going to be an introductory video about me, my journey, where I've come from, where I'm going, and yeah, just basically get to know me a little bit. I'm a personal trainer and I focus primarily on women and weight loss as well as confidence building and just holistic wellness in general. So what is holistic wellness you may ask? Basically my definition of it is not only considering your fitness level but also your quality of sleep, your daily stress level, the quality of your nutrition and how it all kind of comes together to basically give you um, just a really balanced and healthy lifestyle. So that's kind of my approach when it comes to health, but I had to go through a whole long journey to get to where I am now. So growing up, I was always really heavy. I had a BMI of over 30, which is obese. And you know, I didn't like to play sports, I didn't like to be active, I was a total uh, introvert, just super shy, obviously because I didn't really have any confidence in myself. And then one day, I was about 13 years old, I saw a photo of myself and we had just gone to the Grand Canyon and the entire hike was so difficult for me. And at the top we took a photo with my whole family. And I was sitting there and my belly was just so big, it looked like I was nine months pregnant. And I always knew I was heavy, but I, it didn't really hit me like it hit me that day. I was like, holy crap. Like, there's no way I'm that big. And then something just kind of flipped inside of me and I was like, okay, I cannot keep living like this. I need to, um, you know, do something. So I was 13, I didn't have access to a gym, I didn't really know what I was doing. I had a yoga ball and an elliptical in the basement and that's it. So every day after school I would just hop on the elliptical and do little lunges and um, jumping jacks and sit ups in the basement day after day and eventually I ended up losing over 65 pounds. So after my weight loss, my life completely changed. I had more confidence. I knew a lot more about what it took to, you know, upkeep healthy habits. I was more outgoing. I just had a different outlook on life. And I was like, wow, if I can do this for myself with barely any knowledge, imagine, you know, if I can help somebody else have this total transformation, right? So it was always in the back of my head, you know, like I have this sense of accomplishment. I've done this big thing in my life because at the time I was now 15 and not a lot of people at 15 can say they have like a total body transformation, right? So that was one thing just I kept in my back pocket and I didn't really think about it as a career choice or anything. Um, my original career choice was actually to be a pastry chef. So I went to Nate and I got my pastry arts, <clears throat> baking and pastry arts certificate. And I had a few jobs in the industry and then I realized this is not for me like I can't do this for the rest of my life so I took a year off to travel went to Thailand by myself just did a lot of soul searching and like personal development and eventually it just came to me it was like you need to be a trainer you've done it for yourself you need to do it for other people like this is why you're put on earth and I'm a really spiritual person and I totally believe in like the universe and God and that everything happens for a reason and when it clicked I was like of course like how did I not think of this before so then this was while I was in Thailand that it kind of came to me so I came home I went to my local good life that I was a member at and I was like I need to work here please hire me and I had an interview with the fitness manager and he was like well you know like I like your vibe but you don't know anything about training like you're not certified you don't really have any sort of schooling for this so he's like, you can work at the front desk. You need to get your certification. And then as soon as you have it, like you're hired as a trainer. So I was like, perfect. So I did my online certification. I did the CanFit Pro. And then I think that took me probably six weeks to three months, somewhere in there, I can't remember. And then I started working as a trainer and I did not know what I was doing. Like I had an idea of what it takes, obviously to lose weight, but 
for me to take what I had in my experience and then translate it to coaching someone else with a totally different body, a totally different set of like skills and abilities, like that was really hard. And thankfully I had a lot of awesome mentors, um, just colleagues, and then my fitness manager helped me a lot. And yeah, it was an amazing experience. I loved Good Life. I'm still a member there, even though I don't work there anymore. Like I just love their gyms and you know, so it was really good. I worked there for about a year and a half. Then I quit and moved to Australia and I lived there for 11 months. So this was a huge leap of faith for me because I had just kind of built up my business at Good Life. Like it took so long to get, you know, enough of a client base to make a good income and then i was like okay bye i gotta go and went to australia so i kind of had to start again from scratch and so we were on a working holiday visa which means a lot of employers won't look at you because they know that you're not going to be there long term so i was applying at every gym possible i even applied at mcdonald's like i was desperate for a job because we had been there for a few months at this point and i was like okay like i need something I want to be here training people and like nothing's working and eventually I got a job at a little gym called Jets Australia and from there that's when I kind of started building up my clientele again and I met the most amazing people and the best clients the best boss Nicole and you know from there I just slowly started to build up my clientele again and then in a flash, it had already been 11 months, we traveled a little bit and then we had to go home. So that was a really cool experience. It taught me how to basically start my business in a brand new environment with no connections, just nothing. But it was really great. It was definitely like a, a huge learning experience for me. And then I came back home, I started working at a different local gym and then I also registered my business officially as like a sole contractor to do training out of the rec centers. So that's what I'm doing right now. I've been doing it for just over two years now <clears throat> and it's just been the best experience. So that's kind of like my whole background of where I came from, where I am now and where I'm going is basically I recently started um, a line of gym essentials. So basically items that women use in the gym. So bar pads, booty bands, sliders, all these kinds of little things. So I did that, which was like a huge long-term goal of mine. And then one day uh, I just decided like, why don't I just try right now? You know, like it, that was like a five-year goal for me last year. I was like, ah, oh, this is gonna be, you know, in such a long time, I'll do this. And then one day I was like, oh, I might as well just try and see what happens. And then I got in touch with some suppliers and it ended up just working out like really well. So I did that. And then another long term goal of mine, which would have been like seven to 10 years in the future in my head was to have like a fitness clothing line because I'm in love with Lululemon and I love like the quality of their apparel. And I like as awesome as they are, they're very, very expensive and I realized it's not really accessible to everyone. So my kind of thing was to have something a little bit more um, in a medium price point, but still that really good quality and really good fit, which I think is hard to find as a woman, to find like really good fitness gear. There's brands out there, but I just feel like there could be more. So that was my second goal. And I've um, slowly been working towards that. So I do have like the beginnings of a clothing line started, but it's definitely not where I want it to be. So yeah, in the future, that's my goal is to expand my gym, essent gym essentials and expand my clothing line. So that's what brings me here to YouTube is to kind of share my journey about where I've been, where I'm going. And I want to take you guys along the way and help you in any way possible as with my videos as I do this. So I guess what you can expect to see on this channel is a lot of, um, I'm gonna do some workout videos for sure, but I wanna do like some like talks or, I don't know yet, like I'm just kind of starting to think about all this, but um, I don't know, just different like maybe a Q and A, different lifestyle things, um, different business things about like where kind of the way that I've taken my business. Um, yeah, I don't know, you can definitely leave me some comments of what you would want to see from me, but my main goal is just to help people in whatever way I can, so yeah. So 
I hope you enjoyed my little intro. I would love it if you could like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment about what I should make for my next video coming up. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I super appreciate it. If you do want to connect with me on Instagram, my handle is at training with Florian. Feel free to shoot me a DM. I'd love to get to know you. Or if you have any questions regarding your fitness or anything like that, please feel free to reach out. I hope you have an amazing day, everyone. We'll chat soon. Bye.